are ready to begin. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, hi, my name is Brent Everett James from OCAD University's Campus Life Office. And we would like to thank you for taking the time and joining us for the next half hour or so for some special messaging, welcoming you to the 2021 academic year. Welcome. It has been an interesting summer. It has been my absolute pleasure to collaborate with and work alongside uh, OCAD, U, stu OCAD Student Union and uh, many colleagues from our university services and departments in the coordination of this year's virtual orientation and, and today's special virtual welcome. Uh, closed captions have been turned on uh, for this presentation and it is being recorded for those who, who may miss it or wish to review it later. Uh, just a little bit of housekeeping. You are automatically muted and your cameras are off, so you don't need to worry about that. And for those of you with us now, if you click on the menu bar on your screen to see the menu options, you'll see uh, show Q&A, questions and answers. I think a lot of you have found it. You're sharing with, uh, with us where you are from. Uh, and that's where you can type any other comments or questions. Uh, this virtual welcome is coming to you from Toronto, Ontario, which is dish with one spoon territory. As a settler, I would like to acknowledge that the land on which OCAD University is situated, where we stand, work and create, is the traditional territory of the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation, the Haudenosaunee, the Anishinaabe and the Huron-Wendat, the original custodians of the land, who continue to live, stand, work, and create here as well. We're now going to share with you a video message from David General, Oneida and Mohawk artist from Six Nations and Indigenous mentor and advisor from OCAD University's Indigenous Student Center. Sago, my name is Dave General, and I'm here to offer you uh, addresses that go along with the land acknowledgement. The first is the Ohandigaliwadekwa, which in Mohawk translates into that before all else. And it is, is exactly that. It's said before anything else is said. And it, basically what it does, it gives you uh, thanks for everything that the creators provided for us. The people, earth, water, fish, it goes in down into all the, the plants, like our medicine plants, the uh, corns, beans, and squash, which we call the, the sustainers of life, into the trees, the, the berries, the birds, the animals. We give thanks for the, the uh, grandfather, the thunders, the winds. You know, further, we get into the celestial beings, like uh, the, uh, our brother, the sun, the grandmother, moon, the stars and then to the four beings and finally to the to the creator. So basically that's the start of uh, anything else that's said in the address. Uh, also, we acknowledge the, uh, the seven grandfather teachings and I, I always sort of forget one. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it starts with, uh, with courage, honesty, humility, love, respect, truth and wisdom. And those are the contributions of the Anishinaabe culture, Anishinaabe nations. Uh, and we add to that also the, uh, the uh, medicine wheels, uh, medicine wheel. And uh, that's something for each of you to sort of research and find out you know, all the different meanings because there are literally dozens and dozens of interpretations of the medicine wheel. The ones that we've added in just in the last few years, uh, one is called the dish with one spoon and it talks about treaties that were made between the Anishinaabe and the Haudenosaunee about how we use the land, our responsibilities to the land, how we share all of its wealth and how we together protect it. And we've been joined in, you know, just shortly after, you know, that we were the original partners to it by other nations, whether they're indigenous nations or non-indigenous people who came in and took up uh, the purpose of, of guarding the dish with one spoon. 
The last one I'll mention is Haudenosaunee, and it's called the Edge of the Woods. And basically, um, it's when we are welcoming other people into our territories, whether they're, they're fleeing danger or, or hardship, they're coming into our territories, they're looking for protection, a place to be safe. And it's said that we, we wipe their eyes of grief and we welcome them into our territory. So all three of the things that I've mentioned, the Thanksgiving address, the seven grandfather teachings, the dish with one spoon, the medicine wheel and the edge of the woods, they have everything to do with what's going to be said in the land acknowledgement. Nyawe. Thank you, David. Um, always great to hear from you. Looking forward to seeing you in person soon. Um, it is my pleasure to introduce and welcome Anna Serrano, President and Vice Chancellor. Thank you very much, David. Can you see me now, folks? Welcome. And thank you, David General, for that wonderful introduction. It was really um, uh, important to hear what you have to say because, you know, it's often that um, we now start to, uh, which I think is a great idea, to start doing these land acknowledgements, but often we don't really know why or what the what the history of such a, an acknowledgement really means. So I think that's wonderful. Um, thank you to Campus Life and your team for organizing this wonderful orientation program that I know has been happening over the past week. Um, it's my pleasure to meet and welcome you all today. Although we're not together at Butterfield Park, where I would normally be able to see all of you, um, I still feel that sense of excitement uh, whenever a new year begins. Essentially, I've got this butterfly feeling in the pit of my stomach. I don't know if you folks have it too. Um, it's the start of our school year, and it's a year unlike any other year we've ever had. Since mid-March, uh, our personal and academic lives have been upended. Many of you are returning students and faculty have had to make the transition to online quickly to complete the winter term and headed full steam into the spring and summer. At the same time, all of you have chosen to come back to school this fall knowing it will be a very different experience all the while while attending to whatever context you found yourselves at home. So I'd like to acknowledge and recognize that the decision to begin and continue your academic career in the middle of this global pandemic was likely not something you expected to make. So thank you for your fierceness. Thank you for your resolve to begin your journey through your academic life. And, and, and thank you for choosing to come to OCAD University. I think you might have come to OCAD University because it's a place known for being forward thinking innovative, creative, and replete with out-of-the-box thinkers. Um, but perhaps you also chose OCAD University because you wanted to be part of an art and design community that's committed to creating the conditions for all its members, for all of us to thrive and grow, no matter what challenging context we find ourselves in. So I'm really excited to be here today and to share with you some of the things that we've been doing to ensure that you have the best possible experience um, this coming year. All summer long, our faculty members have been working to create a fall experience that will provide you with engaged and innovative learning opportunities, but also working towards ensuring that you all find a sense of belonging at OCAD U despite the distance. I'd like to thank the outstanding work that our faculty are doing to make this transition to this new way of teaching and learning. I'd also like to thank the returning students for the incredible work you have accomplished last winter, spring and summer, and to say welcome back. And to all you new students out there, all 1,325 of you, today marks a fresh start to a new academic year in a new institution. We have 1,247 new, new, new first years, 77 new upper entry year students, and 438 of you are international students. A very, very warm welcome to all of you joining us from 60 countries of origin, including Canada. 
I hope you all have had the chance to participate in the many online workshops and activities that have been available over the past few weeks. For example, we've posted 17 videos on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook to tell you more about the different services and programs available to you from campus life to student services and support to the Center for Emerging Artists and Designers to library services and to the Writing and Learning Center. They're short, easy to digest and give you a good idea of the breadth of services and programs available to you. We've also been super encouraged by how many of you have signed up for the student mentor program. It's a fantastic way to make a connection with a peer mentor who can help you navigate through OCAD U. If you haven't had a chance to do so, I really encourage you to consider signing up as a student mentee. And in fact, Sarah, I'd like to ask you to um, link to that um, where they can find that uh, so that those in the Q&A um, chat box can see where they might might uh, link to to become a student mentee. As a first year student, I hope you've introduced yourself to the community through our face to face virtual exhibition. I've taken a look at some of the self portraits on Instagram. If you're not following that channel, you're missing out. Um, the board of directors have also seen them all and we're all thrilled and excited by the talent on display by this cohort. And moving to remote learning has required us to make a shift in our approach to designing and developing courses, as you, as you can imagine. And throughout the summer, we've been supporting our faculty members through uh, workshops, discussion groups, and providing them with resources and guidelines. But it's not just about that, right? Because although we've invested in all these technological tools, Canvas Cloud, etc., cetera, um, we know that we, we need to also prioritize how we can create a sense of belonging for you all this fall. So the question of how can we create a sense of community while we are separated by time and distance figured prominently in all our planning discussions, while we also obviously thought about how to deliver quality learning experiences online. Well, we started to answer this question earlier this summer when I participated along with students, recent graduates and faculty in a design charrette organized by the Center for Emerging Artists and Designers to help us answer the question, what does community look and feel like in our current context? From this, these discussions, we're looking to launch three initiatives this fall that speak to creating meaningful connections, which I believe are so important at a time when people may be feeling isolated and perhaps disconnected as we work and or study remotely. First, we're looking at having a learning community focused on the needs of first year students and a web-based online community hub that was launched today where students can find all the relevant services they need from wellness to social activities to student clubs to financial aid. But I'm really excited about our third initiative because it is one that has the potential to showcase your tremendous creativity and ingenuity. Right now, we're calling it OCAD U Live. It will be an online platform that showcases content developed by students for students in a kind of 24 seven ish manner. This platform will give you the chance to connect with one another and be part of a community that creates, innovates and explore. In closing, I want to thank you and welcome you all again for choosing to be part of our community. While I have only been in this position for two months and in the middle of this global pandemic, I can tell you that I am just thrilled to be here because I'm surrounded by faculty and staff and now you, the students, who are committed to providing um, and creating this educational experience that is, uh, allows all of us to create, imagine, discover, and be inspired. This is a co-creative, collaborative, and collective process that we're engaged in. So I wish you all the best as you take on new challenges and new beginnings. Remember, OCAD U is here to support you in your journey during this extraordinary time but I can, I'm confident that you will find your place and do phenomenal things. Take care, safe, stay safe, and let's begin this journey together. Miigwech. Thank you, President Serrano. Uh, I would like to now welcome Caroline Langille, Vice President, Academic and Provost. 
Thanks very much, Brent. And thanks, Sarah, Renzi, Saida, and Millie for all your support today and this afternoon. Um, it's going quite well so far. Um, so welcome everyone to a year like no other. We are so excited you are here with us for 2021 academic year and that you have put your trust in OCAD University. And we are prepared to deliver a high quality and exciting educational experience for you. As you all know, and as Anna has already referred to, we have made decisions for the fall semester intended to keep everyone safe and healthy during this pandemic. It's a very difficult and challenging time, and no doubt you are all experiencing things that are well beyond what you imagined your university education would look like. However, as artists and designers, we know you are innovative, adaptable, and creative, and we're asking you to bring those qualities to your studies. Your professors are doing the same. We have ensured you can learn from wherever you are. Faculty have developed courses that are online accessible and break new ground in art and design education. They have been working hard all summer to redesign these courses, revise curriculum and renew their content and we'll all benefit from this level of renewal. It'll be really exciting. In fact, the Writing and Learning Center is offering its services online, as is the Student Wellness Center. Our fabulous IT department is, as always, poised to address technology issues as they emerge and the new learning communities that have evolved will provide mentor support through the Center for Emerging Artists and Designers and, and has already referred to that. And I would reiterate her um, request that if you are interested in becoming a mentee, absolutely let us know. It'll be, I think, a very, really rewarding experience and an important one this year. You're probably becoming hyper aware of your home environment and of the events that have emerged in broader society over the last few months. As you begin to make work this year, weave this moment into your assignments, your essays and your projects. Think through what it means for you, for your family, for your friends. Translate the emotion that is emerging into your work. Black American artist Kara Walker, and I encourage you to look, take a look at her work if you don't know it, it's pretty extraordinary, recently reflected on being an artist at this time and has this to say. I'm always reflecting on the state of current events and the overlap of the historical and the mythic, but I realize today that explaining is not what's needed. As we live in a world of 24 seven explanations of everyone talking at once. Sitting down to make an intimate drawing is a conversation, a way of listening to what's grumbling inside my body and an attempt to transmit non-verbally an experience of being. It's a hopeful act, an attentive and often surprising exercise. I so appreciate what Walker reminds us of here, the hope in making a drawing, the simplicity of that action. And I know drawing is equally important to design and art. So as you move forward in your studies, this term reflect on this time, on the unique experience of living through what is an historical moment. Your enrollment at OCAD University is a hopeful act. We as administrators, faculty and staff, deeply devoted to all, all the students who, well, we're not, you're not gracing our doors anymore. You're actually online with us at the moment. We'll match your hope with enthusiasm and care. So welcome once again, have a great year. Thank you very much, Vice President Langeal. Uh, and now we have a special video message from Kais Padamshi, who is Executive Director of Operations for your OCAD Student Union. Hello and welcome. My name is Kais Padamchi and I'm the Director of Operations at the OCAT Student Union. We would like to give you a big welcome to your virtual orientation and give you a full rundown on how the OCAT Student Union works to support every one of you. I would first like to acknowledge that we are currently navigating the COVID-19 pandemic affecting us all in different ways and the continued global violence that impacts the safety and dignity of the Black community. As a Black person, I want to acknowledge the BIPOC folks in the class of 2024 and affirm your presence and experiences as you transition and integrate into the OCADU community. As BIPOC members, equal access to education is just one of the myriad of challenges we face. With each new challenge at OCADU, remember that our lives are also deeply rooted in joy, perseverance, and self-actualization. For those of you who do not identify as BIPOC, 
I invite you to challenge yourself beyond your academic studies here at OCADU. You are being called upon to step into your power as an individual and to leverage your privilege as a member of OCADU community. Supported by both your peers and faculty, now is the time to expand your boundaries and think critically about what you are working towards. The student union is you. We are committed to ensuring that the university campus and broader OCADU community are inclusive spaces where all members are treated with respect and dignity. The OCAD Student Union represents the members' best interests to the OCADU administration and all levels of government and operate a variety of programs and services on campus, including access to legal services, student advocate, campus food bank, community drop-in lunch, student grants, social events, and workshops. Working under the principles of equity, social justice, and anti-oppression, and knowing that systemic inequalities affect how students from equity-seeking groups access and navigate post-secondary education, we are committed to working internally and externally to eliminate systemic barriers and directly address issues of oppression and discrimination at OCAD University and within the larger Toronto community. Our office is located on the sixth floor of 230 Richmond Street West and is a safe space. We ask that all people who enter the SU be respectful and non-discriminatory towards all members in the space. We ask you to check your assumptions at the door and to be reminded that violent, discriminatory or harmful behavior will not be tolerated by anyone, staff or students. As the SU is a safe space for all members, OCADU security is not permitted. To learn more about the, the OCAD Student Union supports and services, please visit our website at ocadsu.org or find us on social media at OCAD Student Union on Facebook and at OCAD SU on Instagram. I would also like to give a big thank you to our sponsors Above Ground Art Supplies and C Magazine for their support in making our first virtual orientation a success. We wish you the best for this new online semester and are always available for those in need of support. Thank you. And thank you OCAD Student Union. This concludes our virtual welcome presentation. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we are looking forward to seeing you in person as soon as we are able to. In the meantime, please be sure to visit ocadu.ca slash orientation for videos and orientation information you may have missed. And be sure to watch your OCADU student email and our university social media for upcoming events and opportunities. Stay well.